never run into any internet um any internet uh problems with twitch and if you do you have the s skills and resources to fix it <laughs> Thank you, Panda that's Games. His, that's his internet, it's not working face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, Brainer Jar, thank you for the bits. May you be able to go to Venice someday for realsies. Thank you, Brainer Jar. <laughs> this is the Monkey King going to Venice. Oh, uh, the Monkey King is kind of like the color theme of this Venice game. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Can he move from location to location? Oh, he's so cute. He's like this. <laughs> Thanks for the LLMKs. Long live the Monkey King, as always. Oh, my gosh. Well, I'm glad things are working now. And, th I mean, the, the melting snowman is great, Brain and Jar. That was, that, was the, that was the perfect feeling uh, for the moment. Oh, yeah. I really like it. <laughs> it felt like everything was just melting down. I was like, oh, man, this is getting... It's actually very funny. I... I'm really liking. It Thanks, like, looks like a narwhal, but not really. L L M K. Yeah. L -l Let me know. L -l Along with the Monkey King. All right, Andrew, you do your first. Turn. All right, did you get your money? You're you're starting mummies. No. Uh, I started with six. You start with six plus second player bonus. Six, um, six plus. Yeah, six plus something. I'm gonna tell you in a second because I don't memorize these things. Two more coins. Oh, um. I, we didn't find out about kickball if they won or not. Oh shoot! Um, the Moy or okay, Duke. If you're still there, did you win kickball? Where's the loot that I want? Oh, Andrew's Andrew strategizing. I looked at your cards. What? Just oh kidding. my gosh! All right, I'm starting here at the Senate. I do like the way that these um, locations change, and then so the routes that just mm -hmm. feel like such a part of your life. Can you pass me a blue? A purple. A purple resource. There, let me just vote. Um, yeah, so the routes that you are just like going to constantly are not there next. Yeah, the routes change each game. So all these locations move around there's no there's not they're always the same locations but they do move each game they get shuffled there's also a night board if you're feeling sleepy <laughs> what? <laughs> what? it's the same it's the same board it's just darker with some lighting so effects i go on like it. this andrew i actually need a huge reminder for how to play this game because i so, uh, well, actually, let's place it because I do know that much. I so know they, that much. There's four, there's four actions at each location. You'll see. Um, I know that. The, is, so the council of ten. The first action is one cube. The next action is to uh, gain points for people uh, who have more um, intrigue. It allows you to gain points for bridges you've built, and then remove your intrigue. Um, when you go here, say if I were to park a boat here, I would drop off my worker. They would start in the first area in the Council of Ten getting the cube. The next person, let's say Pia decides to go there later, she would drop off her worker and that would bump mine up one level and then I would get access to both actions because I'm at level two. So I get everything in the in the level that I'm at plus all the previous actions and I can do any or all of them. Cool. If I stopped here again, my person would level up. Um, and if Pia stopped here, uh, hers would level up, bumping mine up. So if you get there first, bump, bump. it's really great because you can just bump and bump. Question, and question, bump. question. Also, this is your driver, so that's not really a worker. Oh, um, my question is how does the scrolls work again? The scrolls, you gain scrolls and spend them on other things, <laughs> like missions and stuff. Um, oh, you can always spend, not always, you can usually spend scrolls instead of gaining intrigue. Got like, it. That's what it was. So it's like when you meet and people are like, oh, look, P 
Tia and Andrew are meeting out on the river. Uh, that's very scandalous. But then they look, oh, they're reading the Bible together. And so it's not so bad. So that's the scroll. <laughs> that's what the scrolls are. <laughs> so when the, the when there's like shady dealings mm-hmm. and then... Um, and then like first look, they're like, oh, it's shady. And then they look back and then we're just, we're sitting there praying. Or with reading a scroll. A, yeah, with a yeah. scroll. Okay, I can get behind that <laughs> That's the theme. narrative. Okay, so then I go again, right? And I put my second, my boat. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what is the combo I am trying to do... This yeah. game is very is very fun to play, but I will say between this and Ragusa also, Ragusa is very clean. It's like not fiddly at all. This one is a bit fiddly between the two, but it's kind of it's kind of fun. Uh, that the uh, the pro- procedure of it all is is fun. Also, it would be less fiddly with three players because there's also smugglers. That are me wandering around, causing problems. Wrecking havoc. Okay, your turn. All right, and then I place my last one. Um, where? Oh, where? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ooh, Brandon Jar has a great question. What's your favorite fiddly game? My favorite fiddly game. Oh, goodness. Uh, oops. I do actually, I do enjoy fiddly games. Um, and describe a bad fiddly rap. to me. Um, Wait, actually, so, before you start, then is it my turn? Or? Um, yes. Okay. So you do the first. Walk me through. True turn, I guess here. Walk me through the. So the turn is, I just go somewhere and I drop off a person. So yeah, so you either pay an influence, play an influence card at the first, you, which we don't have. Which any. is okay. Uh, and then move your gondolier, which is your driver, which is not on the board yet. So you're going to be placing oh. them, and then you get to move your boat and resolve meetings and past workers. Then if you've completed a mission, you complete the mission, and then at the end. Wherever you landed, you advance that worker in that location. Okay, so let me, um, before you answer your the fiddly question, because I'm going to place my, so I don't have an influence token. I'm going to move my gondolier, gondolier, go here. And they're going to, they're going to move. The first movement is free. And then, and then also every, chat, then... you can answer this question if you're here. And you like fiddly games. Brain Jar asked a great question about fiddly games. Yes. But we're gonna go through our first, our first um, round here just to help me remember. Move my gondolier, or gondolier. Uh, Brain Jar says fiddly. I guess to me is when players have to manage stuff to keep the game in order. Yes. If there's, mm. if there's a lot of little things that could get bumped, or if you're just having to like move things around for the sake of moving them uh so it's a physical really... component thing yeah yeah usually. panic games i'm not sure i guess maybe do you have any examples um, um maybe it's not your favorite game brain jar but do you have any examples or you andrew or anyone i mean i think one fiddly thing in this is the coins dropping off as you move and this little it's like easy to forget. That oh, you're using this. so it's fiddly because you're it's managing like not you're, only your strategy but also the components that are t- supposed to like keep track of things. Yeah. like it. I get why they have the coins and stuff. It makes a lot of sense because in a longer term, you need to keep track of where you've gone because you can't go on the same paths, kind of like uh, snake or something like that. Um, like snake for those who grew up. Yeah, with snake anyway, before with, on their phone. Um, <laughs> And so uh, that's why it's there, um, but it does. You do. You are having to like do different things. Yeah, I guess that's right. Yeah. I think there's. I think there's certain moods where it's fiddly because it's a board game, right? So you kind of want to like manipulate pieces, pieces and tokens. Yeah. Probably I don't mind some... uh, if the theme, if the fiddliness makes the theme come through better, mm-hmm. then I'm happy with it. Uh, we just played western legends last week with a few friends and that was pretty fiddly in terms of just the number of different things you can do out on the board and each one is a little mini game with its own components that's kind of separate from other mini games but the theme is so strong in that game it's it's just like a western movie type of thing um 
and uh oh there we go so much housekeeping that's a good way yeah, to describe it as well through the ages is my favorite fiddly game through the ages we've played that have we you haven't oh um, i played it early on in the my board game ages. career i'd like to play it again someday because i don't think i've how, why I played I... it with someone who I don't love playing games with. Um, so then Andrew and I didn't know like... at the time. Uh, I was I had just met them, but I had just played Dominion pretty much at that point, and then he kind of threw me in the deep end with um, through the ages and uh, dominant species. Are there people? Yeah, those were some of your. He was very games. ready, I think, for a gaming friend, but I wasn't quite at that level yet, and then. They would say a lot of problematic things while playing games, so I stopped playing with them. Um, yeah, I don't know if if they were very good at like onboarding people. Oh, so you went? Sorry, Pia. Uh, yeah, it and was. This is this is this panic. is where yeah, it was. It was Dominion and then Dominant Species. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is where uh, this little fiddly. So after your turn, you have to move one of the. Uh, you move your smuggler. So draw the top car. Two oh, cards. This? Yeah. Oh, I draw two, and then yes, I and do pick remember one. this. And this is fiddly only because there's only two of us. This isn't part of the, but it is. It does. You can kind of get in people's way <gasps> with this. Oh, I'm gonna play this one because I'm gonna go here, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna go to the library, and then that's gonna make the smuggler bump up here, and I go up here, right? And do I get that or not yet? Well, yeah. next time you stop there. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. And actually, we can. <laughs> Yeah, brain and jar. Love dominant species, but can't imagine playing it early on. That's a good way to scare someone off. Yeah, and I think like we've definitely surprisingly we didn't get scared off. Yeah, that would have been the make it or break it thing. No, I think I think the interesting part is that because you liked Dominion so much, and that was your first one of the heavier games, or not mm -hmm. heavier games, but modern games. You're like kind of kept you you gave it a chance, like you mm -hmm. kept going. But I think the part is like it's always easy to like make a misstep, misstep when suggesting games, and but the dominant species I feel like was a huge, like like a really really like huge over oversight. estimation. Yeah, huge oversight. That might be it. Like, cause I can see like you you might like oh like our one of our friends doesn't like Euro games. Um, but likes more area control and you could give the wrong suggestion for a game night just based off of like taste or preference but dominant species is like a really big jump but that's okay have you ever played it afterwards andrew mm -mm. maybe one day i feel like i probably would like it um it kind of reminds me of the, the video game Spore. Did anyone play Spore? That was the first video game I played that wasn't SimCity. Um, like, yeah, Spore was cool. Yeah, you had it on your computer, and I was like, whoa, oh, video games. Not to be finicky, but mine is the A deck, and yours is the B deck. That was a game choice <laughs> for that person and not the group he was in. Oh, that's what uh, he was saying. 100%. Everyone else, everyone else in that group was pretty new to games. I think a couple of them had played Agricola, which is a pretty heavy game, but uh, that was as deep as they had gone. Mm -hmm. I love sport. Oh, Brain and Jar. There's so many things. I, I forgot what we were talking about on your stream that I was like, KC. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Does anyone remember? I think it was called Evolution. Mm -mm. PC game. It sounds familiar, but I also feel like maybe Evolution is kind of a name of... Pia is our PC gamer. I'm a, I grew up with consoles. Um... And I'm only a PC gamer because I... Well, not I'm only a PC gamer, but I have a hard time controlling console, um, like, controllers. Yeah. Also, I get really nauseous with the, like, um, camera... Um, and Andrew has, he, he realized that you definitely, when you play video games, you like have a, you learn to like survey the like screen and know like when there's a, like, there, oh, that's a boundary or like, cause I would play video games and I'd like be trying to run into the distance and Andrew's like, that's not an option. I'm just like sliding <laughs> across. She's running edge. against the, the wall. You know, when there's like a, 
a tree that's fallen down and it's clearly like if you've played games you know that the tree means you can't go past the tree unless there's a jump button or something like that and that's always pia's move she's like oh there's a big open expanse i'm gonna run right it's got it's just over this tree i'm gonna keep <laughs> running at the tree until i get there <laughs> i just i guess don't super understand like the boundaries of video games but um casey and miguel played divinity and i was oh, saying great, that divinity yeah. was the game that we started right before the baby um yeah was we born. should finish that someday but they said that they play a lot of divinity and it is so a much very a... very big game i always wanted to play four it wasn't that the creator of the sims i think it was yeah <gasps> that would make sense because i like sims as well so it's kind of that i I remember playing Spore, and I think it was on Andrew's computer when we were still dating, and I think he was just visiting, and I remember thinking, I wonder if I can get him to leave his computer with me, (laughs) even though he lived in another state. (laughs) He was visiting. I loved it so much. It was really fun. Uh, Speaking of PC games, oh, I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite streamer, Twitch. Good setup, Duke of Frank, because (laughs) I'm going to be streaming Mass Effect the legendary edition the new uh mass effect on sundays with my friend so this goes back a little bit story in call right after college good friend of of mine we played all the way through mass effect two and three together we made all our moral decisions together we made we talked each one out we talked about our different romances that we uh, it was a very romance. collaborative. It was a very collaborative storytelling experience, <laughs> and so when the new Mass Effect was coming out, I was like, "Well, I feel I would feel bad to um, play without him. To play without him, and he was on the East Coast now, um, so I was trying to figure out how I could make it happen. So I was like, "Well, if we just stream once a week doing it, then it's going to be fun." So Sundays at about four thirty Pacific time, seven thirty Eastern time. Uh, tune in, and we'll be playing until my friend uh, Chauncey, yes, aka falls Periwinkle. Asleep. Well, or oh, Periwinkle, yeah, um, his camp name. Andrew worked with camp at uh, camp with him. Well, we did, and Andrew's camp name was Gandalf, and his was Periwinkle. Mm. And um, and he, um, so you guys are doing the the Brambeard gaming thing where you play games with friends that are not close to you anymore. Yes, not yes. close to you physically. Not like <laughs> that you're not close to yeah. um, I'm going to go here. Also, the game place... came with this uh, first player token, which is a metal coin. So I, think, um, I think that's a Kickstarter thing. Okay. Oh, i got to pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. And then, sorry. Take so there, your turn. So I went there. I handed mission. I don't have any activate there. And then I'm going to move my, my fiddly boat. I'm B. Oh, I'm going to get intrigued if I go there, right? So then... Um, it's always the shortest path that they take so you get take two cards oh yeah i forgot are you just trying to decide to go somewhere (laughs) i forgot that that was something i needed to do um oh Uh, it's really good panic games i don't know if you ever played the original creatures if it was creatures too but i got spore because it reminded me of creatures interesting i'll have to look that one up yeah i uh I was always jealous of the PC players when I was a kid. Um, just because of all the cool things they could do. Eventually, like I was always super interested in um, like multiplayer games and Quake, Arena, and stuff like that, but I could never play them. And then I think Quake or one of them came out for like Dreamcast, which doesn't even have two sticks on it. And I remember playing that split screen with friends. I'm dead. In my desperation. <laughs> Just Star says, I'm definitely interested in this one. In this yeah. game or in this Dreamcast game that Andrew's talking about? Or Creatures. Or Creatures. Probably Creatures. Um, Andrew was just talking about how um, he likes this game, but he's really excited to play it with more than just me because... <sighs> that sounds bad. Andrew doesn't want to play with me, and no, 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 just because it seems like it would be even more fun. Um, I think three. It seems like three would be really great. Um, all right. Maybe all of the above. I came in mid discussion. We were talking about PC games. Um, just are, 
still have my Dreamcast. What, Johnny Deathhawk? <gasps> Eclectic Camel, thanks for the raid. Hi, Herbs Gambit. Um, we are playing Venice. Venice. Welcome, Raiders. Sorry, oh. I was like in the middle of my turn. Uh -oh. I was thinking about it's things. It's like frozen, Andrew. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. This We're having a lot of problems. Technical issues. Technical nice. issues. But we can still talk about PC games. We were talking about Spore because we were talking about how um, that was one of my like first PC games. Well, not first. One of the other games that I've tried after SimCity, which was my main game that I played. And then we were talking about Divinity. I don't know if that's a PC game necessarily. But we were talking about how Andrew didn't have a PC and grew up wishing he had. And what games were you playing? What? Oh, oh sorry. I, Andrew's in, sorry, in, in troubleshooting yeah. mode. Um, <laughs> Wade! Hi, Cut the Camel. What were you playing over on your stream? Andrew is um, troubleshooting. We had like a three-minute lag earlier. Um and so this is just the day of technical difficulties. Yeah, you know. Oh, Divinity is multi-platform, so it definitely counts. Yeah, I have a... Ex I'm just going to keep talking about Divinity while Andrew problem solves. But yeah, we played uh... Divinity with my... F with our two friends who lived in... Or who live in Seattle. And I'm not super great at video games. And I just kept, like, attacking the wrong... Like... I just kept, like, lots of friendly fire on my point because I can't really control console, um, what's it called? Console controllers very well, which is why I think I like PC games, but I also like Frostpunk, but I've talked about that before. Um, sometimes I want a Divinity for PlayStation 4 so I can play in bed. <laughs> But Johnny Hedgehog thinks it's wasteful. <gasps> yeah, that's the... <laughs> Andrew was trying to figure out if he was going to play Mass Effect on console or um, on PC. Um, he was talking about how he's going to do a Twitch stream with our friend Chauncey, a.k.a. Per Periwinkle, um, of, of, of Friendship's Past. Well... He, he um, moved away from us, so we're using streaming as an excuse to hang out with him um, on the weekend. I really like my Xbox Pro controller I use with PC. I have a lot of games on PS4 and PC. I feel your pain, Brain and Jar. I was watching um, a stream for a game that Smolecule, Michelle, had played, and um, she tipped me off to this game. I forgot what it's called, but it's really cute. And she, um, like, I was like, oh, I'm really curious about this game, so I'm going to watch some Twitch streamers play it. Um, and they were talking about how they were really conflicted about if they wanted it on the Switch or on PC. Um, because it seems like a cozy, oh, Cozy Grove, that's what it is. It's an indie game. But um, it's kind of like Stardew Valley meets... Uh, Fair, like Spirit Fair meets, what's it called? What's that game that I really like? The food game, Don't Starve. I really like Don't Starve. That is a game on PC that I play quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, it seemed like a, I feel like Don't Starve would be a good game on a handheld device. Um, <gasps> Jassar! Um, I started watching um, Samurai Flamingo. I really like it. I, I, I'm, it's making me wonder if I should get a subscription to... Oh, is it working? <gasps> Andrew We're fixed back. it! Look at my hand and how it's not frozen. Um, it makes me feel like I I should play um, what's it called or I should not sh I should play it, it makes me want to get a Crunchyroll account 
a subscription, which I don't need any more. <laughs> I just don't like ads. <laughs> Uh, but I've been enjoying it. Andrew has not been able to watch it because I've been watching it on my own. I keep thinking, I'm like, I should wait and have Andrew watch it, but I want to dictate the pace of how I, like how quickly I watch it. Mm. Panic Gaze says they are on console and now just play whatever is on PlayStation Plus each month, which is, that's a great way to do it. Oh. Uh, keep the cost down. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Uh, whose turn was it, by the way? It was it still my turn? It was. I think I moved here. It's no, here. I went, so it's your turn yeah. now. Okay, so I moved here, which cost the big me... blue tarp is still up at F L G S. I also, checked you with the buyer. Either take an intrigue or spend a scroll. <gasps> and then this leveled up. And intrigue. So now I it's can reduce up. my. Intrigue, I can gain two scrolls, and I can get a blue or a purple dude here. And that's because this person has been leveled up on this location. Um, Jessar says, Samurai Flamingo starts normally and then turns into Power Rangers. Then goes off the rails. Oh, Jassar. I told you it looked like uh, Power Rangers. Rangers. Yes. Yeah. Okay, Jassar, that is the key word that I think Andrew is going to really gravitate towards. Because Andrew, his favorite type of humor is like absur absurdist humor. So um, something like... Something, or well, not even humor, but just like You are shows... taking a intrigue or a... Spend oh a book. my gosh. So I'm I gonna spend a book and then so this guy's gonna bump you. But I'm up. but I'm A or I'm B. You're oh. A. Get out of here. Shoot. Are those colors do they look the same to you? What color? The purple and the blue. Purple and blue? No. Why? Okay. You just moved Oh sorry, sorry, sorry. You oh, just sorry. moved. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm still like Recovering from okay, so he's recovering um, from the technical difficulties. <laughs> you use some brain power for yeah. it. I'm All impressed. Right. Your turn. Um, but, so not necessarily humor. I mean, it's not just humor that's absurdist, but you just love, you love, you love shows that push the boundaries. I liked Scissor Seven. That was an anime that was really funny to me. But we also love Ronnie Chang. Yeah. So it's like a lot of that was Ronnie Chang. But also, it's a funny concept. A bad assassin. Yeah. Okay, now what is my plan? I don't know why I'm still holding this. I'm just so excited that I collected Camel Raided. Okay. Let's see. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, what are they talking about? Griptock and Gen... Gen They're talking about um, a game on hold? Oh, uh, the blue... Blue tarp still up at the FLGS. I checked with the buyer and said, check this weekend. They're waiting to confirm the offer. Here I am. Oh, man. What game are you guys talking about? Big blue tarp? This sounds interesting. Anyways. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew needs need to know. To know. Um, I'm going to go here. And then, um, man, I haven't, like, returned anywhere, so I can't, like, do anything. Okay, and then I'm going to grab two cards and move my fiddly smuggler. Mm, let's see. Oh, a blue high. Oh, the blue highway uh, auction. Yeah, that happens every year. Very. It's cool. all coming back. Yeah. To you. I just didn't know about it. I just didn't know that they were. That's what they were talking about. Oh, got it. Got it. I'm gonna go and take this. Oh my gosh! Wait. So if I go here and pass, then I have to know things. You're hurting yourself. This sucks, but you you get bumped up, which I don't. Oh, want to do. thank you. I oh think my that's gosh. more important. I appreciate to me. it, Tia. Thank I'm you back for the every help. other Thursday. Thursday is medication day. Aha! Welcome back, Legends. And then Andrew. Oh, Legends! What type of pasta do you have? Oh, Griptock, this is at Blue Highway. It's not the Blue Highway auction that they do every year. It's just a big used delivery. Oh. That's awesome. 
I love Blue Highway Games. If it was closer, it would be our place we go. We uh, There's a new place actually near us in Gig Harbor, Lost Star Games. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. friend of ours just is doing a soft opening right now, I think our on the friend, weekends. Our friend and our DM. Yeah. Great guy. Great store. We got to check it out last week. We pro- we're we going to po- post some more pictures of it later this week that we yeah. took while we were there. Um, the theme of it is like, because it's not a big space, so in terms of inventory, it's a little bit challenging, but they're trying to do more like adventure-themed or adventure, sci-fi, um, adventure, sci-fi, and fantasy themes. Um, which I, at first I was like, oh, you don't want to like put, give yourself a constraint, but when you have a small space, it is kind of nice actually. Um, and that's a pretty wide range. Um, but it's in a really cool spot in, um, Big harbor, nice like little area. Yeah, right, very central spot. Um, and the what their their kind of idea for the store is they're just gonna keep stock low in general, so that they just move through things. So it's always they're they're focusing on just whatever is newest and those themes, Available. fantasy, sci-fi, and whatever sells well, they'll get more stock in. But um, yeah, I think they're just gonna. They're gonna have one or two of each things, and if you get it, then you get it. So it's it's kind of focusing around like a, a find. Uh, yeah, or, and also he's got a lot of um, role like and role, role playing, playing games. games. It's a lot more role, role playing, playing game heavy, mm-hmm. which we really like. Um, we are unfortunately um, never. Er, we haven't been. Oh, actually, in Brainer Jar, you were talking about role playing games and and one shots the other day. We really like role playing games. You for a while had a campaign that you guys were playing regularly. Obviously, the pandemic slows mm-hmm. that down, um, but we haven't been able to be part of a longer campaign. But um, we were with him. But yeah, yeah, with Alfredo Sauce. I love white sauce. Um, the Riff Dog. Someone is moving east and liquidating a bunch of good games. Ooh, oh, what? Jump on that. Um, um, are you going to stream in the store? Legends, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure what the, like, internet situation yeah. is there, but it we might fun. We might do, like, an Instagram stream there or something at some point. Oh, something with a, that's yeah. a little there, more we, we were talking with them. There may be uh, Board Game Spam Recommends stickers placed on certain games. <laughs> We don't know. I was like, we're not, <laughs> we're not that big, big but... Deal, but we can make stickers. <laughs> stickers yeah. are fun. Um, no, it's, it's a fun, it's a fun spot. And he, the, we know him through D and D, but he, um, worked. So, so Andrew used to work in supported employ, employment. You have an intrigue, by the way. Oh, Andrew used to work in supported employment. So helping adults with developmental disabilities get jobs mm-hmm. and, um, our friend who's running um, Lost Star or started and running Lost Star games, he was an awesome employer who was really committed to um, like inclusion and he was just really awesome. And then we started playing D&D with him, but he um, is a great, sorry, I'm like talking in front of the mic again, um, or not in front of the mic, the mic is behind me. But, um, yeah, so it, it was cool to see him kind of make this store and make a store game store kind of off of a few kind of key themes. A little bit of a creative constraint since there's so many games. Mm-hmm. Um, and he just hopes to bring a lot of different people into the hobby, not just board games, but, um, role, but playing, t- role playing games and miniature painting. Yeah. And, yeah. So we're excited for him. Yeah. And now it's my turn. I've talked. I need to look at my what I'm trying to do. My so orders. this game goes until one of us hits ten uh, points on the this uh, this track for the council. So it's influence in the council, um, or uh, all of the missions have been. So there's nine missions. So we haven't finished any yet. Because we've been talking. <laughs> we've been talking. Sorry. Well, and we've had some yeah, we've had some great conversations. Yeah, as well. This is definitely a game where you're, once your engine's going, things happen a lot faster as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brainchar says, ooh, what campaign? Uh, it was kind of a homebrew campaign, 
mixed with um, a couple different campaign books from D and D. So it was the the dragon one, which was the first campaign book that they came out with fifth edition, uh, like Vault of Dragons or something like that. Anyways, um, we did a bit of that. We did a bit of the pirate one, um, and then there was some homebrew stuff mixed in there. So it was a lot of kind of like a mix mixture. it mixed and match. Cool. Question, but, Andrew. Yeah. So when I go here, I move my person up, and then I get the thing, yeah right? all the actions in the one that you're okay. in and the previous ones if you'd like. Cool. So four, and then the thing is that oh. is an intrigue, right? Yes. Yeah, because you're you're minting money for yourself. What do you think? That's definitely sketchy. <laughs> um. Yeah. And then you but, have to do the rest oh, of your turn. Sorry. Um. Brain Jar was talking about um, Crow and, oh my gosh, I'm forgetting what that system is. Um, the Kickstarter that we didn't get in on, but maybe we'll find someone who can we can play it with. Church. Uh, sorry, I'm, talk, I'm talking about the two locations. I said Coyote the two locations. Coyote and Crow. Coyote and Crow, yeah. Yes. Um, it was um, Mandy. Oh, yes. The, that's the... Uh, Mandy talked about it yeah, on the Native American. The camel stream yes um that looks oh. really cool yeah we Church. were debating that all month uh that it was active so yeah definitely. we would definitely have bought it if we hadn't bought a bunch of stuff in that same month and we were like what have we done um let's see. yeah we have two i i got into when i started getting into role-playing games i used the same mentality that i did when i got into board games which is just buy all the systems and the problem with that is role-playing games, like, to just play one system, it's so much effort to get it to the table. It's like 50 times the amount of effort to just get people together to play a single system. So uh, I have a lot of unplayed books. So, um, Andrew, you're going to get an intrigue Spend in a book here. Actually, no, I'm going to take it. And then you're going to get intrigue here. What? Two? Oh, yeah, but then you move up here. Actually, you Ooh, don't move up. I don't. That's yes. the worst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we backed it. Definitely want to get a group Ooh, play. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. I um, I really... Uh, we also played the Star Wars campaign. Mm -hmm. We played a bit of that and another D&D &D campaign with some college friends online. Oh, and, and Cyberpunk, which we realized... Um, uh, Shadowrun. Shadowrun, sorry, not Cyberpunk. That's a video game. Um, but um, we realized we picked a really difficult system when we were first, like, starting off. Um, mm -hmm. And a bunch of, Andrew has a bunch of, like, indie systems, too. Because I, you just, you oh, just find shoot. it really. I think I did that wrong. <gasps> Andrew made, made a mistake. Up. Oh, no. Andrew made a mistake. So He's gonna there, need some there, forgiveness. There. I go to the bathroom. Uh, board at home. Actually, I lose a book and gain an intrigue. Hi, board at home. That sets it up. You have. Oh, board of hand. Yay! Welcome. What did you say? I said board at home. Oh, I thought you said board at ham. <laughs> board at ham. That's welcome. their evil twin channel. That's yeah, the evil twin channel. Board at ham. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. This is. We the do radar. analog alerts. This is. Uh, the Raid the Idol, Idol, and the Raid Idol is going to tell you what we've been doing. We've been playing Venice. Um, we've had some technical difficulties. We've taken a very, we've taken a very long time to get this far. But you know what? I'm having a good time, and I think I have pretty good chances. Um, I've gotten a good little route for myself. Things are moving smooth now. Mm -hmm. So Smooth in the game and uh, smooth in the stream. Except for... That I need a forgiveness moment. Oh, yeah. Andrew messed... He was moving my tokens. <laughs> so here, whenever we make a mistake, we have forgiveness moments, uh, which you're about to see what that is. That <laughs> and is... that's our forgiveness moment. Sorry if it was super loud. Yeah, Andrew... <laughs> Come on. Um, 
the that is Uncle Jojo, friend of the stream, godfather of the stream. <laughs> um, and I think it's sorry, sorry, it was sorry about that. <sighs> That was the first time I think we played it off this. Yeah, theater, Andrew, so this I is lowered the decibel. <laughs> just wanted to, That's you know, best. everyone who's watching, I just wanted to jolt your attention back. Things are happening. Things are happening over here. Andrew, <laughs> yeah, we moved to this to Hopefully the middle room um, of our apartment. We are trying to keep all the wires here because our baby is Starting rolling, to move around. not crawling yet but there were too many wires at our dinner dinner table <laughs> Brain drive. it's Brain. happening <laughs> forgiveness is loud ready yet <laughs> yes um so andrew i did not know what, so you mess you moved my tokens i know, i i forgot what color it was okay so i've fixed it we're back to normal so whose turn is it i think it's your turn I thought it was your turn. What did you I do? just, I did oh, all of that. Oh, you messed me it. up. Yeah. Because yeah. I was going to move this one. Uh, so I moved him here. Oh, um, we apologize yeah. for Andrew's huge oversight. This game looks very cool. I really like it. It is, we're transporting goods around Venice. We cannot be First in the same move. location because the Inquisition might think we're doing something shady and then um we get intrigue points which are bad um but it's fun you have little okay andrew's not looking so you have different like um things you're trying to fulfill goal um, cards goal cards and you're moving around and if you move really far away then it takes money resources to get far away um and the more you visit a location, the more upgrades you get. And you're trying to get to certain locations first because if Andrew frequents a location that I've been to earlier, then I get more, um, like, not actions, but more, like, benefits, goodies, uh, positive vibes. <laughs> I don't know. Andrew, we were, this was a very busy week for us. We did not, we played this twice already, but we didn't get a chance to refresh because I was doing Aha. a continuing ed right before this. Every other player gains one entry. That's what the second action is there. So what's um, happening? You gain an entry. Me? Yep. Oh my gosh. One thing that you should know, Board at Home, if you have any amount of intrigue, you cannot win. <laughs> No, so, no, no. If you have the most... If you have the most. Sorry, the so most. So, as long as you have less than the other person... Oh, that's why win. I feel like I need to have any amount. Because you were really managing your entry last time. And my entry... I was just a suspicious boat Legends DM, uh, the most answers on a poll is five, I think. Yeah. <gasps> Are we helping you pick your game, Legends? I'm excited. I, I don't know how I... I can't vote in it. But I want to. Um, Maybe we can add my vote afterwards. So if it's like a tie. You can vote. Why can't no, you I vote? can't vote from here. Interesting. Yeah, it is interesting. All right. This person is going all the way to the what church. Are you asking and about? you get two intrigue. Oh my gosh, Andrew. One Shabuya, Shabuya, Shabuya. Well, they're going to the church. That's how you know you're getting intrigue. They they passed you, and they were like, mm. "Guess who I just passed on my way to the church?" And shoot, the church was like, "Terrible people is who you passed." Terrible people. Terrible people. <laughs> Andrew. <gasps> okay. I'm Legit both. Super TJ, welcome to the. Dream. Hi, legit super TJ. I am going here. Ooh, uh, legit super TJ. Oh shoot. Is doing a campaign. Um. What am I doing here? What is on Instagram up? here? Oh yeah. Um, and I want to get the details right. 
Uh, so May is neurofibromatosis month and they are spreading awareness and trying to raise uh, some money for it as well. Um, I don't know if you have a link for what you're doing, legit super TJ, but uh, if you, you should want, if share you, it. Yeah, you should share it because um, it's super cool. We'll actually be posting a picture on Instagram later uh, to help spread the word. Yeah, as well. yeah, yeah. Can you move me up too? And then Andrew, when I grab one of these cards, do I get two or one? Um. Is it just one? One. Okay. The plus one. Well, I don't know if it was like a draw two and then grab Andrew. <laughs> uh, I think the one is your is Andrew. Your guiding, is your guiding help there. You. All right, I'm making this poll. <gasps> okay. Legends. So give me. Um, and then the next part of my turn was this. I really like the color scheme of this game. It's like purple and orange, which is a fun combo that you don't always see. And especially like kind of this warmer yellowy orange. Um, so, you know, props to Capstone. Is this Capstone Games? It's not actually. Props to... The actual brain, publisher uh, of this brain game. crack games. Brain crack games mm -hmm. for picking um, fun and unexpected color schemes. Um, props, big ups, all the ways to commend someone. Because I really like this purple and orange going the, the on. The first game, uh, Ragusa is Capstone, and Brain Crack. <gasps> oh, I have a really okay, good move. The poll, the poll is up. And it took right. that long for Pia to do her move, so it's it's oh, great. chatting with people. It's Can okay. you pass me? Uh, oh, I'm going. Oh. I'm going storehouse. They're moving up. I think I was orange last time. That's why I keep getting confused. I'm like, oh, Capstone you're was me up. the first, not second or third. Yes. <gasps> oh. Yeah. They were in for the first one, but they were not in for the trilogy. I don't know why, but it's probably. I don't know why I why this one, I this, guess this, this one is a little bit fiddlier than the other one, so maybe it wasn't as smooth as mm. Ragusa. So this is crunchy peanut butter, and Ragusa is smooth peanut butter. Yes. Uh, did you go? Did you move the? I went. Person? I did all the moves. Um, right. Here we go. Here this we is go. a really nice player board, um, like a action thing. If I was smart and referenced it every single time it would be um it would be helpful for andrew who sometimes has to ma help me remember my turns okay that group is up sorry dang it i'm helping you i should never help you griff dog says ghost rider daredevil doctor strange is their vote but that doesn't count when it's not in the poll Wait, can people multiple can multiple people vote or multiple you can vote multiple people on the poll? I think you can only vote one. <gasps> Wait. How does that how is the poll gonna work then? What do you mean? Which hero should I use? Oh, I see. There's, sorry, I'm looking at the suggested poll now. Yes, and they're all in there. They should all be in there. Minor where is are they now okay no don't go there just sorry other ah, than ah. samurai flamingo what other shows other anime do you suggest andrew and i actually we really like studio ghibli but we actually don't know very many um like we don't watch very very much anime and it's not because we don't like it. It's just there's so much anime. Yeah. So Also, like, you take an intrigue or spend a book. I'm spending a book. Nice. Because um, I think, remember you said that when you went, you like realized that like anime, in the US, anime is like a, a genre. But when you go like to Asia or anywhere else, you realize that anime is like, 
Stuff just formats. movies. It's yeah. just the term, or not movies. Like it's shows or movies. It's yeah, a format. It's, it, liking anime in China when I lived there, anyways, it was the equivalent of liking TV. TV. <laughs> it's like saying I like TV mm-hmm. because there's, there's so, so many much. genres and options. And yeah. Yeah, which I, I think that's what always intimidates me to get into anime because our we have a couple of friends who are really into it and they have like um they what did they suggest to us that we got started Sa- Samurai Bebop. Am I mixing that? Evangelion? No, Evangelion. No, yeah. well that, but no, it's a Bebop. Yeah, also see, Samurai Bebop. Is it called Samurai Bebop? Uh, Samurai Flamingo. What? Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop, that's what it is. And then it's my turn. Capstone, okay, uh, Jess, Kids on the Slope, I just rewatched it and holds it really well. The 1960s Slice of Life with the same musical composer as Cowboy Bebop. <gasps> So it's jazz music themed with two Ooh. odd couple buddies. Yeah. That's awesome. We yeah. need to finish Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. That was another one that we watched right be- like right before we um right before I gave birth. And so I always forget. Um We haven't finished it? Yeah. I like, think we've only watched two episodes. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Time is weird. I time feel like time is, is was weird around weird, yeah. around winter when the baby was born. It felt like ages ago. Okay. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to grade gray. And then, oh, shoot. This is an influence card. Never mind. I'll, I did that wrong. But move. Man. Hand in mission. Man advance. Move. Manned. My manned boat. And then advance a building. And then I'm going to grab and move my smuggler. Not there. Definitely not there. Where's the Senate? Show me the Senate. Oh, up there. Do, 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 do. Oh, no! It's a three-way it's three-way tie. Three-way tie. Only three votes. Oh, man. We could do better than that. Okay. I, well, well, we should vote then, yeah, Andrew. Yeah, you do, you, you do the tiebreaker. Oh. You have to choose between those three. Um... So is this gonna be Ghost Rider? I'm gonna pick this, Ghost Rider. Uh, okay, I what? have a question. <laughs> what? Wait, what? It sounded like a question. You're like Ghost Rider? Never mind. Senate, 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 Senate. Ghost Rider, it is. He has the the breaking vote here. Senate. And so I played Senate, and then that. <laughs> Ready, was... Cowboy Bebop, baby. <laughs> Um, Andrew, you Josiah's get an entry. favorite anime. Oh, I get an entry. Yeah, and then we get a picture. Oh, you want, you want this? Oh, Unc- hey, Uncle Jojo's hey, favorite. Yeah, I like, I like what you're doing. Erase there. also a live action adaptation where a manga artist jumps forward and backwards into tra- traumatic points of his life to solve problems. Oh, I gotta write that down. Write it down, write it down. Also, another fiddly part is as cool as these boats hold the cubes really well, they also like kind of fall out sometimes, or your driver falls out. Um, I and I feel like I have pretty good dexterity oh, shoot. skills. Actually, I wasn't supposed to do that. Move back, move back, move back. I need to move my person, and then I move my boat. I need money. I'm broke. Listen to the song "Space Lion" from Cowboy Bebop. Okay, Rudy Red, I'm putting it on the baby's playlist. Space Lion. Well, yeah, we're also taking song suggestions for our baby's musical, our baby's l- playlist. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think he'll like Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, he likes Uncle Jojo. I got a point. Oh, really? All the above are short form and form. Sorry, there's a new thing. Then 23 episodes. If you want something longer, I've been watching a lot of Gintama. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Going to the Minor Council with the... Kids the... on a 
Nope. All right, your turn, Kayla. Eating. I'm right. I'm, I'm taking notes. Taking notes. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna go. Okay, what is that? Oh, I can use my I can use my influence card. Okay. Oh, I need to get those influence cards. Are great in this game. Okay. Take a second. Take a second here. Okay. This is the part that I, okay. So I'm going to play an influence card where I get to, um, where did it go? Oh, let me hear. An influence card that allows me Whoa, to. Oh, you just have a hidden card under there? Where did it go? Ooh, actually. I'm this is what this. I get from being messy during my. Mm -hmm. Where did it go? Am I going crazy? Is it not in your hand? No, these are my. Oh, wait. It's right here. Oh my gosh. It looks like the it looks like the cards. Organized stocks. So I can freely swap cubes between <laughs> two boats, regardless of their current locations. You may gain one cube in one of your boats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh nice. So Those I'm, cards are awesome. So I'm gonna go, If you can find them. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. Rude. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to move this here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is as fiddly as it gets now. Everything's falling. Oh gosh. Swapping resources. And then, and I get one extra resource. Oh, Wait. you can't fit that on there. Then I'll swap this. So now you I won't can swap it. Oh, okay. well, you, I can you have swap unlimited freely. swaps? I can freely swap. Oh, okay. Because I got stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Organized stocks. Okay, and then, so that's my play my influence card. And I get to move my... Um, I'm going to move my guy. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Sorry. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. Just sorry, I really like Bubblegum Crisis. Still my favorite. But I like Japanese 80s rock cyberpunk mecha themes. Whoa! <laughs> that is a... That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome, yeah. Um, I'm going to go to the consulate. So that move... See, this is the fiddly part. That's free. That costs... Two dollars, but I'm here at the consulate. I'm going to place here and get a purple. And you get the actions as you pass the storehouse. What? Yeah. I forgot. I'll get um, but I don't have room anyways. But I can do the trade. But I don't. I don't. I don't need it. And then I'm gonna deliver to the consulate. What's up? Come to me for all your goods and needs i get five i get five andrew you move me five, five points and then five coins five and coins then, yeah. oh you're completing a contract you may gain one extra cube Ooh, this is ongoing you may gain one extra cube of any type when you activate the consulate it tucks into your board there oh that's awesome yeah. that's a really nice effect and i get a scroll you do where no, it costs a scroll. Oh, dang it. Well, okay. Not as cool as I thought. Bathroom break. All right. Uh, did you do the bad guys? Oh, dang it. I gotta go to the bathroom. You gotta do, do, finish your turn before we go. Okay, okay. Two okay. cards. Where's Pick one. Where's my smugglers? Where do I to go? Mm, let's see. They only have... More guys left. Uh, let's see. Legit Super TJ says, I want to thank you too for your willingness to post on Blue and Green to end the uh, Blue and Green BG to end NF pick on Instagram. Means a lot. My son has neurofibrosis and wants to kick this disorder in the curb. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. We, the more people that jump on it, and that hashtag, uh, if anyone here is on Instagram, uh, the challenge is just to post a picture 
with that hashtag and uh, ideally the picture has a lot of blue and green in it of a board game that has a lot of blue and green in it. So components, components, box. Getting creative. I think it'll be fun to see a lot of the posts and stuff. But the idea is to flood that hashtag. Um, yeah, kind of direct yeah, people yeah. Towards the cause. Um, Council 10. Where is Council 10? Man, it's so weird how it's all like flipped around to get a little confused with the where. Okay, here we are. I'm going to go here. Bam. You get an intrigue or pay a scroll, Andrew. I'm having your game that you had last time. I know. I I learn from what. <laughs> also, Griffdog says, Game Find of the Week, walking home from a coffee shop Tuesday and looked in the little library. There was a nice copy of The Networks. Looking back. Nice. That is awesome. The Networks. What's Okay, hold on. We haven't played The Networks. You've been interested in it before, though. Oh, uh, okay. So it's got a really cool box. The man, I feel like that's like finding a treasure or finding a um, at a library, a uh, what's it called where you go? Um, what's the thing where you like, ge like a geocache but a board game? <laughs> what if there were board game geocaches? Those would be enormous. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm taking another intrigue, but I'm getting four dollars. Oh my gosh, it feels good. It feels so good to have money. I've been out of money this whole time. I've only been able to go one space because it co costs money to go further. Um, and uh, I'm going to do my turn there. Let's see if I'm going to wait to do these because maybe they'll make Pia upset. I don't know. Storehouse or market. So the... Smuggler's here. If I go to the market, nothing happens. If I go to the storehouse, it's over here. Oh, that's just going to benefit Pia. I'm going to go to the market because that benefits me. So they move there. They drop their worker. Oh, that's their last worker. I was wrong. That's their Gondol worker center. But it bumps me up. That's nice. Oh, uh, your friendly local game store had the Executives expansion on Overstock for 50% off. That is awesome. Yeah, uh, there was a deal I passed on and wish I didn't. It was like a year ago um, or more than a year ago because it was before the pandemic. But there's a little game store here in Tacoma, and they had the Battlestar Galactica. Not the board game, but the like miniature. It's kind of like the X-Wing game is by Ares. It's the one that came out more recently than than the uh, the Amazing Battlestar Galactic game. So it's just dogfights, basically, with the ships. Uh, but they had it for, like, I don't know, like 80% off or something like that. It was super cheap. And I regret not getting it because I was curious. I've heard this game is good. So. Super TJ, good night. Thank you for dropping in and for yeah. chatting and and giving the dropping the information mm -hmm. thanks so. for joining us yeah thanks for joining us um okay it's gonna be my turn yeah i'm going to be looking okay i, I think this money. is a type of game where i'm gonna have to stand and look at what i need to do okay interesting you know they were just talking about the library you go to the library do have a pretty good setup there with the library. Okay, so this is, so my guy's moving here. And they're gonna go. Oh, I have, a, I have something I'm trying to do here. Okay. Oh, shoot. You know what? I gotta do it. This is so sketchy. Okay, I gotta do it. No, this is this will be my undoing if I do this. I'm maxed out though. This is gonna make this turn so inefficient. 
Okay. Trust me, I know inefficient. I'm doing it great right now. So, um, first a little water ripple starts there. And then I'm going to go here, share that spot with you. Oh, thank you. Are you stopping there? Actually. Also, you get whatever actions there as you pass. Okay, I'm going to get two coins. So I can't get any more purple. And I am stopping there. So Ooh, we're so that gives me it. a point. Thank what? You. Why? If you stop at the same location as someone else, they get a point. Oh, rewind, rewind. I don't like that. It's too late. I got the point. No. Okay. <laughs> no, you can rewind if you like. I didn't remember that that thing as the... No, I just got to do this. It's going to take forever if I don't. So oh, Board at Home is going to bed as well. Bye, board Thank you for Thanks joining for the raid. us. Yes. Thank you so much. Uh, just sorry, my FLGS offers almost everything 40% off to take to, uh, on the world. Though in compensation, they don't have as deep of inventory and mostly order based on customer interest. Yeah, that uh, that kind of sounds like um, the Gig Harbor one. They don't quite have the discount, but their idea is to just have low stock and then always be just getting through the stock as much as possible. Um, and then, I mean, the, the one, there's also one... Um here and they're kind of a they don't usually have as much stock either but you're always like if you're interested in it they're like we'll just order it for you it's very nice of them the moy battlestar galactic game similar to x-wing sounds like something i should stay away from <laughs> <laughs> i mean the thing that is nice about it uh moy is it didn't have a long run and they don't have the license anymore so uh it is a complete package i think there's only like a few expansions for it so you wouldn't be able to split spend too much money on it okay, griff dog so this would move that's cool here. here in seattle it is mostly full retail except for sales and loyalty programs uh cafe mox didn't they used to sell like five to ten percent lower i always felt like it was can you make can you move me eight eight yeah oh my gosh interesting you night. My winning streak is going to be over. After activating the mage, you may pay two coins for Ooh, what's up, what's up? Okay. Um, and then and then I loot, and then I gain it. Oh, gosh. i got to manage my... Right? Because I... Andrew, if we share a spot, do I, do I get one? Or do you just get a point? Oh, uh, yeah. We both have to resolve yeah. that as well. We, yeah, we lose Most points. places in Vegas, too. Thankfully... There are two volume retailers. Yeah, I feel like when we were in Las Vegas to visit my family, we were not into board games yet. I'm trying to think if we went to any board game cafes, but I don't think we were. Um, I am going to go, this is my free one. There. Oh, um, that's a bummer. Which gives me four more dollars. One, two, three, four. <laughs> but they back almost every Kickstarter. Oh, so if you're ever like curious about it, or if you hear good things, then we'll be there. Oh. Yeah, Andrew has definitely taught me more about Kickstarters. Um, cause I didn't fully understand it and the games just kept arriving to our door. And when you work from home, you start seeing which games are arriving. Oh no. Just kidding. I'm gonna, good thing, take two points cause I can't take an entry, but I get two scrolls. Um, also you take an entry, by the way. I can't. I'm going to lose two victory points. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. I already did it also. Okay. It's even. Uh, and that's my turn. I well, did point actually. them to a lot of good things to stock. I convinced them to pick up TGZ. What's that? TGZ. TGZ. Fox had some crazy sale not long ago. Five dollars for a game. Which TGZ. Like, oh, dang. Okay, let's see who can figure it out before it... it's gonna be me. TGZ. Court. Um. Let's move into the court. Hi, Board Game Geek TV. 
Welcome, readers! Oh, hey, look at that. Hello! This is our Raid Idol. The Raid Idol welcomes you to our stream. I'm Andrew. I'm Pia. And we're Board Game Spam. We uh, stream Mondays and Thursday nights, uh, 8 p.m. Pacific time. We play uh, a lot of physical board games. Let's actually, let's switch over to our faces for a minute so we can chat. Yeah, we, we're trying to get through our um, collection. Hi, Jahananon. I oh, I looks like that. we have some Oh, and follow. some new So followers. we do analog alerts here. You already saw the raid idol. Um, and so uh, for all our followers, Dr. Alan Grant comes out from Jurassic Park and says, Hey there, Magnus Mandrook and Jeffrey Diane. Thank you for the follow. I was just uh, swimming under some buildings in Venice, and I found an old dinosaur bone which was in one of the buildings which means dinosaurs were alive a lot earlier than i thought oh my gosh johannanon thank you for the follow i just want to take a break and a breath from swimming under the water and digging those bones under the water of the city very interesting find I'll tell you that much all right thanks for the follow and talk to you later <laughs> so thank that you is everyone do dr for... alan grant yeah thank you everyone um who came over from Board Game Geek. Yeah, what were you playing over there? TV. Tell us about us. Um, oh, The Great Zimbabwe. Grip Dog was talking about The Great Zimbabwe. Oh, it's a, there it's it a is. Splatter game, yeah. TGZ. The Great Zimbabwe. Yeah, did you say you found it? You saw it for $5? We're talking deals. No, Our no, no. best. Or not. Maybe we're not talking deals. We are, I we just are, came we back are. from the bathroom. Tell us if you ever got a really good deal. On oh, board just game. I got them to pick that up in stock. That's awesome. Yeah. It's a really solid splatter game. Awesome. Yeah, we, uh, I am very, I'm anticipating digging deep into some splatter games. I've not had the chance or the group to do it, but I own more than one. So <laughs> that is probably my own problem. Um, <laughs> Oh, yeah, that, so that um, Dr. Alan Grant toy is a toy from Andrew's childhood. And actually, we also have a dinosaur from um, Jurassic these, yeah, Park. Yeah, these are real Jurassic Park toys from, from the his 90s. Childhood. But here's the funny thing. This, I, I work from home currently. I am a um, pediatric therapist. And this dinosaur actually um, was part of my therapy session today. And so was our cat. So our cat <laughs> was in, like, sitting on this couch, which is behind us. And I was able to, like, pull my webcam and, like, set the webcam in front of the cat. So my students were working for, typically the incentive is, like, M&Ms at their ha or at school. I, like, zoom into their sessions. But today they worked for videos of our cat and this dinosaur and we were doing skits <laughs> and they enjoyed it. I didn't expect them to like it. So it was our cat Musashi of Brave Fencer Musashi for any of you who know that video game, that PlayStation 1 video game. Mm. Um, but yeah, so we had little skits. They earned skits with this dinosaur, this T-Rex and our cat. Um, but yeah. Official Jurassic Park merch. merch. <laughs> I was obsessed with it as a kid. <laughs> a collector, even as a child. Yeah. Um, also, it looks like they were playing Marvel United over there. Ooh. Did you guys, did you win? Did you win the um, scenario? And which superheroes were you playing? Yeah. Sorry if we missed yeah. that earlier. No, no, they just said it. Oh yeah. no, no! Like if they if we missed what superheroes were. Oh, playing. Uh, legends in our chat actually is playing right now. And Daredevil got knocked out by Craven. Yeah. Is the latest. Um... Although I know how you roll legends, you probably were in their chat too. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you in multiple chats at the same time. I do that sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, we. I mean, the only way we saw it was because we were also doing. It. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> um. So we play that was our forgiveness moment uh, <laughs> that happens on our channel when someone needs some forgiveness for <laughs> messing up a rule or having to rewind the clock a bit. Uh, oh, so, okay. yeah. 
Magnus was saying, I think they won twice. I only saw the second one. Dang, my latency broadcaster was 44 seconds. Guess it's time to refresh. Oh, oh yeah, there's a delay again. Mm. We had a three minute delay earlier and now I see myself playing with or um, tying my hair. So I'm curious about how delayed this is now. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not too bad. As long as it's not buffering and lagging. So. Um, but yeah, so we're playing this game. We played earlier this week. We played... Um, Ragusa. Ragusa. And then we're playing this. And Andrew was inspired because Florence? Uh, yes. Yeah, Florence is currently on Kickstarter. We're not sponsored or anything by them, but... Um, it inspired it was i hadn't actually played ragusa before or venice and i had them both and I was, i've been excited to play it so it was kind of the um the inspiration to uh that i needed like hey it's on kickstarter right now we're doing the stream let's just let's go for it so oh oh oh, oh. moonrakers just saw us talking about moonrakers oh yeah Where? you you've played moonrakers plus the before, right? backlog of euros i'm actually most pumped to play moonrakers yes i got moonrakers played um last year at the end of summer there was a couple of us that had just gotten covid tests and we did a masks on fully ventilated all the windows open and air filter going and it was like the last it big was the, game night before the baby was born yeah I, and, and then we had a then it, it was like so silly because it was the only game night we had uh the whole year um well and it's funny because then we thought and like, then there was a covid scare even with all those precautions afterwards there was no covid there was happened, no covid but, but i think it was it was it's one it was of just, those things where it's like <laughs> We you had not nice seen, things. yeah. We hadn't seen anyone for like six months. We were like, okay, we'll do everything right. And, and then, there's still know, a that's scare. How but... but actually, Andrew had, so our baby was born in November and he had not filled up his gas in his car until the end of April or beginning of April. Mm -hmm. So from November to April, he like hadn't filled up his, his gas. And my car went all the way till. Probably, probably end of April. <laughs> so yours is beginning of April. Mine's end of April. Because we just didn't go anywhere. Which was... I'm a homebody, so I don't mind. <laughs> and my work was from home, too. So I didn't... We didn't have to commute. But, man. <laughs> the Moy sounds like a fun and safe day of game. <laughs> he may or may not have been there. Um, I mean, it was as safe as we possibly could make it. Um, I feel like it was one of those things where it was like... For sanity's sake. It was, yeah, for our own sanity. And thankfully, our kid is pretty good at sleeping. But I, I, I guess I thought, I was like, this is the end of it. This is goodbye to board game nights for a really long time. And then, lo and behold, we play more board games with this baby around than, <laughs> than, ever, than ever before. before. With the stream. Um, uh, the... Your baby has a car that needs gas? <laughs> And um, uh, also, just, just asked if I like oh, it. Yeah. I really liked Moonrakers. I'd love to play it more. It's um, the deck building in it is very straightforward, kind of you know Dominion level like really pure deck building um, things that you're buying and making your deck out of. Um, but then the negotiating is where it makes it really interesting. And then having it only be towards ten points keeps it pretty focused. Uh, every point matters. Up until about five points, everyone's pretty willing to give each other points a little bit. But uh, once everyone has about five points and they start getting in striking range, it gets a little bit more intense. <laughs> You're like, why are you letting them join you? And they're like, I need the help. <laughs> Anyways, it's a good negotiation game if anyone hasn't heard of it. Moonrakers. Also, graphic art on it, graphic design on it is really good. Baby board game ally. <laughs> Your baby has a car that needs gas. Did I misspeak? Is that yeah, we probably you... said something. <laughs> sorry, just sorry. Uh, um, yeah, basically we we got away with not dry or er, not filling up our ga the gas tanks in our car. We didn't leave enough to to deplete the gas in our cars for like five 
four and a half months. Which is crazy. Yeah. But also, actually, there are baby, like, baby cars. Well, I guess they're, like, toddler cars. So, I've seen them before. I'm like, that child has a car. <laughs> they're driving around. <laughs> uh, Daryl's an R. See you there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to order it tomorrow so I can have it for SaltCon. The um, Moonrakers? Oh, nice. I like how it engages the table oh my goodness every, I... yeah, every turn is everyone's turn because you're all engaged with the negotiation some sometimes it's straight like the mission is pretty straightforward and, and who's going to help is pretty straightforward but also there's a lot of moments of like oh i can help you do that and then you just draw poorly with your cards and you can't help and then you just made an enemy because you thought you could help but couldn't actually do it there's there's funny moments in it like that Ooh, some salt con hype. Um, is salt con a, a con that has a lot more playing? Andrew was trying to tell me that different cons, like there's some that are more about trying new games or buying games. And I think that's why you and the Moy and Duke wanted to go to uh, Shucks because it was an emphasis on playing games. Mm -hmm. Which also, Moonrakers, that's the one that I saw. It's a really pretty box, right? It's like matte. You really want, yeah, once you noticed we had it. Um, oh, it's the one I keep wanting to play. And Andrew's like, we can't play that. It's just a two <laughs> yeah, two-player negotiation game. There may be rules in the box for two-player mode, which I don't know if there are. But they're probably not worth it. I, I can't think of a negotiation mm. game. Where... Did you, so did you play, oh, it looks like the Moy's talking about it. So do you, is, you play it with the Moy and... And mm -hmm. um, Duke of Frank. Duke yeah. of Frank. Nice. Three players is good, but I'm very curious at like a four or five player game. Ooh. We'll have to set that up. Do you right. think do you think K Pax would like it? Yeah, definitely. It's negotiation. Mm hmm And K Pax likes to try to convince you to do things. Mm hmm And play certain cards and Is it my turn or is it your turn, by the way? I don't know. Let's see. Uh it's my turn. Okay, I gotta I gotta deal with my oh wait, sorry, I didn't pay I got this but I didn't pay my stuff. You didn't pay your stuff? Oh you got those completed actions. Mm -hmm. By the way, you get new um you get new missions going to the court or the doge's place. Oh, you didn't you you didn't spend your resources. Yeah, sorry. I see what I, you're saying. I I, I, I was just like, got to talk. I was like, you didn't spend your driving money. I was like, I feel like it's too late for that. Okay. And then I move it here. And then I gotta go. Let's oh, see. you didn't even move your. Yeah, sorry. I was really. I feel like that was a lot of forgiveness. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna do another forgiveness <laughs> moment. Hopefully, it's not at like a thousand decibels uh yeah, lower it. I, I did lower it so come on good. andrew hopefully we're good here uh um let's see all right let's give this a try hopefully it doesn't blow everyone's eardrum <laughs> misplayed turn sorry it cost us minutes of our life um oh i got where am i where can i get more how do i get rid of my intrigue is that it hold on there's where, some spots where's the, where's the place to be forgiven of all my intrigue oh my gosh there's so many people everywhere so i gotta go here but it takes so long to move up there Man, this yeah, is we didn't we uh neither of us planned very well for this. Oh my gosh, this is awful. Because even if I go there, oh sorry, my hat. <laughs> um, you're pointing at places on the board that people can't see. They need to know. Okay. Oh my gosh, and I can't even go up there because there's so many people up there. I guess I have to. Oh, does this lower it, Andrew? No. No. Oh my gosh. I don't think I have time to deal with all this intrigue. You have time? Like, the game. Like, I don't know if I have enough time within the game. I mean, we're very far away from finishing. We, we're, I think, 
have only made it into the first couple turns so far. We've been talking a lot. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We're just enjoying ourselves. Although it is 1030, so we should probably finish, speed okay. it up. Okay. So we can get sleep, too. Okay, so I'm going to do two Because the two win conditions are finishing this stack of cards, which oh, we haven't even drawn dear from, God. or hitting 10 points on here, which we have neither of us have gotten any of those points yet. So. Okay, done. That is one thing uh, that um, Ragusa, I think, is faster. This, this one can drag a little bit because the two win conditions, if you don't focus on them... Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, and I gotta okay, move my so. guys. Sorry. Fiddly, fiddly. Yeah, this is the game that if we were gonna have um, trouble with it, um, it's the longer game. Uh, did, did that pass me? Okay. One, two, three, one. So it got past so me. Yeah. So, ah, I'm already at zero points, so. Oh, but I can see what those guys are doing. Okay. Can you pass a smuggler? Is that here? Oh, they're out. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's the. Yeah, the they're out. Um, well, shoot, it's late I pulled here. my guy out. It's, wait, it's late here on the East Coast. Have a good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us, Magnus, and you have a good sleep. Thank you. Uh, I pulled my guy off. Which one was it on? Legends reports, yay, Electra did one damage to Craven, that, yeah. then Craven knocked yeah. out Daredevil on the third time, or for the third time, ouch. We, um, hunt someone, they're, oh, when he hunts someone, they are doomed. Okay. One scroll. Gosh. Two grays and a purple. Oh, no. To gain five points, back out a zero and five dollars, and on your turn you do not gain entry for other players' bridges. Nice. Well, there's no bridges up there yet, so. And then I I'm trapped. Use... You're trapped. You're. Mint. I'm gonna have to. Or. Oh, I have scrolls. I have scrolls to deal with it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold I'm just up. planning my turn. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold I'm trying up. to move the game. Yeah, faster. I haven't finished mine yet, though. I'm just ch checking out the board. I am surveying and trying to make a plan so that this game will move. Okay. What's your plan here? One, two. That was your first one. Was three. One. Yeah. Three. Yeah, and then here's two. Oh, okay, got it. And then I will go three. And I'm gonna go with purple. Two scrolls. One, two. Um. And two. Yeah. Oh wait, no. Two. One, two, and plus two. Oh, oh my this gosh, is a so great many. turn. Yeah, and then I gotta move my person. Move the smugglers. Move the smugglers. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna put it here to go to church. No! That's right. Why? Ah, oh, yes. That's <laughs> negative two points. I just got five points. Arr. So here's the thing, chat. <laughs> I'm doing great victory points wise, but my intrigue is out of control. The Inquisition so is, is coming for me. Oh my. Um, 
Yeah, Andrew was. We were talking about how, in, if you're familiar with Gugong, there is a part in Gugong where you just have to straight up, like take your tur take turns to go to the like emperor, and like make your way up the emperor track. And I know some people get frustrated with having to do an action that doesn't get them anything. Um, I think we were talking, the Moy was talking about that in a different game as well. And it's, oh, is it, um, I would ask Andrew, but he's thinking. Um, but I think it's interesting. I don't really know how I feel about it. But Andrew says it's just kind of an interesting game mechanic where you just have to, it doesn't benefit you and you just have to like make sure you do it before the end of the game. Because it's kind of that management piece. And it just adds super, that level of stress. Super know? juicing. That that good level of stress. It's like, am I going to do it? Super juicing, thank you for following. Oh, hey, we got to follow. Uh, that is Dr. Alan Grant. Where's the Senate? Let me finish this real quick. That's all right. The Senate is... Uh, okay. That's something that's kind of interesting about the game. I feel like you're kind of disoriented because... Locations right. are in different spots every turn. Uh, super juicing. Super juicing. Thanks for the follow. This is Dr. Alan Grant. Oh. Thank you for the follow, uh, super juicing. I was just digging up a bone under the water, so I was holding my breath that whole time. <sighs> but I'm uh, back. All right. Thank you for the follow. I just wanted to take a break and breath to say that. Talk to you later. Take a break and take a breath. Yeah, <laughs> the Moy said it. It's a good mechanic, but you hate it. Yeah, it's like this interesting thing where it almost like limits. Like you want to do all these things, and then you're like, "But I gotta go pay homage to the emperor." I'm talking Gugong. Oh, but um, it just adds that love. Like I haven't ever talked to or heard of anyone legitimately not not getting to the top of that emperor track. So it's like pretty easy to do in the context of the game, but it is something that just weighs on your mind the whole time. You're like, like I have to be able to do it. Yeah. So it just adds that level of like tension. That is fun. Well, and that's, I was likening it to this intrigue track where I'm oh, like, I yeah. got to manage my intrigue. People think I'm sketchy, um, but I'm not. I'm a, I'm a hard worker. My, um, just transporting these goods, these completely normal, not illegal <laughs> goods. <laughs> Um, so then I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go, oh my gosh, there's so many boats over here, and I need to go over here, and, oh, Obsession has this mechanic, you have to pass at some point, it's so lame passing, but it's better if you do it when you plan on it instead of when you're forced to, yeah, that's like, um, that's like that tightrope part of the board games in terms of timing when to do things. Um, and like, it feels like a, a chore. It feels like, like I gotta wash the dishes. I mean, that seems bad because games are fun, but there are also games are a challenge and that's part of it too. It's when to fit it in. Shoot, I don't know when to move this character. Okay. I'm looking at what I need to do to get. Ooh, I'm not even here. Andrew is always here. Everywhere I look, Andrew's boats are in that spot. Um, let's see. Where can I get more jobs? Are these more jobs? Yeah, okay. I gotta get. Some more jobs. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here. That was free. And then I'm going to go... Man, this now I'm getting the experience of a solo gamer. Pay two. I'm going to move here. I'm going to move up. I'm gonna grab this and I can't grab it. I don't know if I should keep this or not. Mm, just for variety, I'm gonna trade it out.
And I'm gonna move my character. Uh, I was trying to get my turn done before Andrew came home. Came home. Came home. <laughs> <laughs> came back. Came back. And I'm back. I'm home. Um, where's the market? The market is over there. Okay, I'm gonna move to the mar move my market. So I'm gonna go here. Andrew, you gotta pay up. Pay up. All my points that I earned. Um, oh man, there is so much lag. You haven't even left there. That's all right. I don't Sorry, know chat. What to do about that? Um, all right. It's not, that's not lag though. That's just delay. Oh, I see. Previously, we had lag, which was. Like lag between different things. I like it was feel... stopping and loading. And stopping oh, and loading. got it. Uh, you went. Okay, I gotta move this. Well, now I want to know how long the lag or the delay is. So I'm gonna start making weird gestures. Maybe you can warn past Andrew and Pia about a bad move they're about to make. I think so. <laughs> I'm not going to help pass Andrew, but I'm going to help pass Pia. 1246. 1246. Oh, is that the time? Two hours ahead. Oh, 1246. It's no, only like that's, a... That's the same time. Oh, okay. So I think ours is just like... Okay. So we are in a fog of um, Twitch delay, but yeah, no one, but no one else. Delay. Oh, I was just thinking. Sorry, I'm like super uh, like familiar or not familiar aware of it because we have set up our stream to be in front of our TV, and we've connected our computer to the TV so that we can see things. So I'm not always like doing this all the time. But now there's too much information for me. It's too much. Really like the way Venice's board is developed. I really like it too. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going this way. I've really made a bad decision about my routes because if you plan correctly, you can just kind of keep circling certain routes and keep getting the upgrades when you're passing your locations. But I'm not doing a very good job. I've kind of spread out everywhere. But it's the nature of the locations that I want to visit. Um, yeah, I went for all the good stuff. But the good stuff is also the stuff that makes you dirty. And so I'm very intrigued. Oh, I'm intriguing. losing so many. I'm just hemorrhaging points right now. Hemorrhaging them. Um, <gasps> yeah! Oh, man. I wonder if we can... Um... I, I, I want to try and shout out um, okay. DJ Cassius Clay. I don't know if this is going to work. Okay. If you want a DJ on your Thursday night, if you want a DJ to help you, you know, relax while you clean on a Sunday night, or not Sunday night, Sunday afternoon, you should check out um, Cassius Clay. We raided one time a food streamer we really like, um, adobo and rice, and then after his stream, because he was making ramen, he took us to Cassius Clay, and Cassius Clay has like music videos in the background uh, while he DJs, which I've tried to find other people who do that, and they don't. Um, and it's so fun. But it, he is usually streaming Thursday night. Um, and that's who Mrs. Moy was talking about. Um, <laughs> I always need a DJ. Brain Jar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Brain Jar, if you ever are inkling for s someone to DJ your cleaning, like your Sunday afternoon cleaning, he does like a cleaning stream DJ. Like he DJs for, <laughs> for your cleaning. Um... <laughs> Sorry, we missed a bunch of things before that. Yeah. Um, we were lurking, trying out a game. Oh, wait, Brain Jar, what game are you trying out? 
it is kind of fun to jump back into people's streams and oh, see was how it their Trickerian? game their game develop. Maybe not. Anyways, um Yeah, answer back. Let us know. And then I'm gonna go next. <laughs> Hashtag Sunday Sound. <laughs> Sunday Sound. Griff Dogs, that was a fun night of games, food, and music. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was such a fun surprise. Um I've I've enjoyed it. And I've I've run into um I don't I don't know <laughs> Or Griff Dog, I've run into Adobo Rice at different in different food streamers, like chats, and then we always briefly talk about board games because <laughs> this guy is like making um, like ramen, and then we're all like board games. <laughs> Benita, we are not even like a quarter of the way through the game. Benita! We've just been chatting. <laughs> um, Benita, we were playing Ragusa we may not the other this day. One. And it's going to stay right here. Actually, the nice thing is, I don't think I need this table for tomorrow. Anyways, Benita, we were playing Ragusa. And we remembered that you have talked about it before. Um, or at least asked about it. And we were like, where's Benita at? No, it, your job is not to be at visiting our stream or <laughs> staying up super late. Yeah, what time is it there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> How are you still up? You got it recently. Nice. All the cat butts. I love that Jessar is always ready to drop Those the cat, cat butts. butts. It's I mean, always it's one of my favorite things about Twitch. It's, it's a very the, small detail that just cracks me up. <laughs> it's one of the best emotes. Also, a little while back, the Moy says thank you so much for uh, getting. Thank you, Board Game Sam, for getting Mrs. Moy into Twitch in yeah! general and board games. Hey, you know what? Mrs. Moy got Mrs. Moy into Twitch and board games. She just had to find the 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 on board, the ramp on board. Yeah, <laughs> she had, she had to find um, DJ Cassius Clay um, for. And you're Man welcome for the for whatever <laughs> role we played in her finding those, but. <laughs> she guided she, herself. She got. She found it. She found the fun in it. She found. Her, she found her own path. Oh my gosh! And there's so, so many butts. <laughs> We need to make a butt emote. A butt emote. A oh. spam butt. Oh my god. What is that even? How the bottom you... of a can of spam oh my god. with a little butthole. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. If... I, Benita, feel like... I was gonna make a joke or joke earlier on the stream when anime talk started saying that we should say fruits baskets three times and you'll appear. <laughs> Baskets. Oh yeah, a monkey butt. There you go. Monkey, monkey butt. King's oh butt. yes, that monkey butt. Oh perfect. I love the collaboration Panda Angel. here. Welcome to the stream. Hi, Panda Angel. Monkey butt. <laughs> um, well, yeah, yeah, we've started, uh, but there's two win condition or end game conditions. Sorry, we're so slow. It's uh, it's this track here, which I don't. We've we're seen at a zero out room. of ten. Um, no, no, it's then, one. Oh, you have one? Okay. Yeah, I've and been then, contributing. Uh, once these cards are out, there's four of these cards left, I guess. So, Have you started at all? <laughs> or, or, oh, no. Have you all oh, started? Oh, fruit basket. <laughs> <laughs> there's more butts. Oh, yes, I know that Monique has um, a, a butt as but, well. Yes. Maybe a Monkey King butt. Can we, can we have like... Using a hero in pose, looking backwards at Coco. Can we I have like a, a minute of butts, like a, a time of the night where we, we're just like, uh, everyone just does all the butt emotes for a full minute. <laughs> Can we do it? What time is it right now? 10.53. Okay. Uh, oh my. Uh, 11 o'clock. Oh my gosh. 11 o'clock. We're going to do 60 when? seconds of butt emotes. So everyone when just the queue them up, get strikes. your copy and paste when the clock strikes. And 11. if you don't, so have if we a... ever, so this is going to be a thing. If we ever talk so much during our stream that we can't get through the game by eleven o'clock, we're gonna. We're, this is gonna happen. We're gonna just do a whole wall of butt emotes. <laughs> a wall of. Butt. I uh, also, I know some people have like the floating emotes in their streams. I need to figure out how to set that up because because it'll just be a that wall is gonna of be, butts. Because then we can clip it. I didn't. I didn't even realize that it was almost eleven, which is probably gonna. Yeah. So I think I, it's your turn. It feels like. I mean, the the thing is, we've been talking a lot, and there yeah. it is a long game, but it doesn't feel long because I'm working emote on stuff. Emote wall. Panda Angel says it's emote wall. Actually, <laughs> could you write that in your notes? <laughs> emote wall next to kids on a slope. 
<laughs> um, I mean, it makes sense. You said wall of butts, so it's just. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Things panned up. I I set one up a while ago, and it was not nearly as good as the ones I normally see. So. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Sorry. The so, the the idea. You have five that it's minutes until the ball of the wall of butts is I coming. I wonder who's gonna be on their turn during the wall of butts. I feel like now I feel like I want to finish or not finish, but like do my turn quickly. Okay, where is my? Okay, here. Also, I don't think I realized how many butt emotes there are. I love Twitch. it. <laughs> I love it. It's like I always think they're funny Danny's when I see Danny's got butt them. emotes as yeah. well. You, and if you don't have butt emotes, you can just write butt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Moobot will allow it. What we will allow it. We'll team like, twerk. <laughs> that works. Twerk team. Twerk team. Oh, I love this. Just like whatever you can find <laughs> yeah. that's, that's sort of adjacent. Butt adjacent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Things get weird here after uh, at 11 o'clock. When, when we're talking too much... And, well, it's not completely our fault, because it's, um, what am I doing? What am I up to? Okay, okay. Um, oh, 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 got it, got it, got it. I'm gonna go. Yes, Benita, this is a, it's, it, it, it is a fun game. Um, it probably is a little bit better with three, although I, I keep saying that it is very fun at two. Um, yeah, what are you talking about? He's, he's saying it's not fun at two because I am winning. Uh, basically you move your um gondol gondolier uh from one boat to the next and then you move that boat and then the all the spots that you pass during your turn you get to do actions Oops. that you kind of set up so it's it's very engine building e but every time you pass each other you give each other negative effects so there's also some negative consequences of that in two player mode there's these smugglers that we control as well and so uh currently I've got an insane amount of intrigue, and I'm just hemorrhaging points from it. As you can tell, I have one point. Wait, points. Andrew, here's... 14. Here's, so what I... So this is... It goes here and then here, right? Yes, I'm just yeah. trying to get the... I'm trying to finish before all the butts descend. It's at three minutes. One, three minutes. Two, one. And unfortunately, I don't have a timer set three. up. But maybe four, I can, I'll get my thumb. Yeah. They'll manage it. One, two, three, four, five. The, the clock will strike 11 and the butts will rain down. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I feel panicky that I'm going to get the... Just our rain of butts. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so this trick uh, is... Just our, I think the new Kickstarter does allow you to get the other two. Um, and it might be the... Um, one. Kickstarter versions of those. So at eleven, are we gonna are we gonna call the game whoever's ahead at that point? Yeah, okay. probably. Uh, just so well, no, no. Oh, I might win then. I I think you will. Did you go? Is that? Your I turn? have Ragusa. Ragusa is really fun too. We played it on Monday. Which, Wait, sorry. Were, oh, I moved. You were there. Mm mm. Or maybe. Maybe not. Um, uh, oh, 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 yeah, because it were... You're stalling, you're stalling. No, 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 the rain of... I thought I could finish before the rain of butts. But the... Uh, just sorry. So I only need Venice and Florence, <laughs> but I think it's only yes. Florence or all three. <laughs> Andrew, do you like Venice better than Ragusa? Or are they super... They're pretty different. They... I saw in the thing, in the uh, rule book, that their goal was to create games that are similar weight and kind of different levels of, like, Your turn. positive and negative player interaction. Uh, and I would say that this is definitely a step more complex than Ragusa um, between the two and a little bit less clean of a design. And that's why that I think Andrew all being likes said, I think there's more set. interaction in this one, mm -hmm. um, and it probably plays with higher player count. So, um, yeah, Andrew was liking how clean and how streamlined Ragusa was, um, and for some reason, I was I feel like I did really poorly the last turn um, of um, Andrew. <laughs> Wait for it! Wait for it! Oh, the it's buds already, are starting. It's already started coming in. <laughs> Start the pots, it's 11 o'clock. Stop. 
Sorry. One minute brain and butts. <laughs> and as many butt themed emotes butt as you can emotes. get in the chat. But um I I I here's the funny part. Oh. <laughs> like, it is okay. a wall. <laughs> There's so many different ones. <laughs> this is really funny. <laughs> the, um, no, no oh, wow. with that said, I Whoa, did that really. One? Whoa. <laughs> it's like a fish butt. I love it. Um, <laughs> bye, Braden and Jai. Bye, Braden and <laughs> May the butts guide you home. <laughs> oh, there's a toilet paper one, too. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, our, but yeah, with that said, you really liked um what is it oh there we go there everyone thank you for thank you participating. For participating in our one minute of butts <laughs> to close out a game an unfinished game an unfinished game but um but, but. <laughs> <laughs> no but oh my gosh now i just can't stop saying but so benita i played this game with andrew two times before this play the first one I got stomped and I still had a really good time, which I'm not sure why. The next game I did a little bit better, but I still didn't do very well. I've calibrated and I'm going to win this un, un, unfinished game. Um, yeah, we can leave it and we can, if you want to finish yeah, I for like real to finish it. tomorrow. Or something. Maybe we'll do a little bonus stream during a nap tomorrow yeah. or something oh yeah because i have a little bit more of a for your schedule but anyways the um during a baby nap not one of our own naps but i think Just so that's clear we were talking <laughs> about it being um we were talking about it being uh a more of a fiddly game um but i think it's funny because the first play of ragusa i didn't like as much and i like this one more but then you liked ragusa more than this one and now I just like both. So that doesn't really <laughs> answer any questions. Yeah. Uh, Pia can take a break because she works for the school district. So she has to manage her own schedule. It's not time based. Uh, and uh, when the baby goes to take a nap, we might finish this then. Yeah. yeah. I saw a hoarder meme based on a Spanish couple with a guy looking at a woman in red. This time the guy was with toilet paper and turning his head for gasoline. <laughs> yeah, the um Oh yeah, it's like the it's like the three people, right? They they they're like this. You know what it is. If you see it, you would you would recognize it. Oh yeah, I probably would. Um I got a game night today. I had a game night today and finally got La Havre. La Havre on the table after 2 years. Sitting on your shelf. Oh my gosh. Going on and absolutely loved it. it doesn't I've, it feel so good to get a game? This is one of the games that Andrew Ragusa had for was a one while. of those. Yeah, it, I had it. I think for two, almost two years. I had, I got it when it came out, and then I got in on the Kickstarter for the next one, uh, this one, Venice, and then this delivered, and I was like, I gotta play the first one still, <laughs> and so uh, we got that to the table. But La Havre is pretty solid. One of my favorite uves. I feel like I've heard that before i think it's been recommended to you because pia prefers games of abundance versus games of oh, scarcity yes and that one is oftentimes referred to actually let's switch let's switch over to i've that. only developed a little bit of taste for the more of the scarcity games recently mm -hmm. um but i do like getting a bunch of stuff yeah so um that one is usually referred to as one of his best abundance games mm, oh, okay if i'm correct uh if i'm remembering the right one but we recently got uh feast for odin uh because that's also known for being one of his better abundance games and i'm really excited to play it but i'm also a bit intimidated so well and the only reason why i the andrew got it because he was interested in it but he didn't know if i would like it is because silver metal tavern streamed it and that was also one of my favorite streams i think i love when streams like break i feel like that's <laughs> probably a terrible thing because i i thought brandon jar's stream that had the really long lag was so funny me 
and I think it was Legends and like Daryl with Lenar were in there and we were just like laughing at the lag and just like messing with them. And then Silver Metal Tavern like was still learning. Um, was it still learning? What's it called? Benita was there too. Oh yeah, the yeah. Feast for Odin. Yes, 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 yes. The, and yeah, Benita, you were like, this lag isn't normal. I remember you were like <laughs> trying to explain to them and we didn't tell them. We were just like laughing. But um, yeah, I just like, I, I think Silver Metal Tavern was streaming and then it just made me realize like, you can just do whatever you want when you stream. Like people, I mean, not whatever you want, but it's- <laughs> You it's... can do a minute of butt emotes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that, that cult is pretty close to whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think I, I just realized like, like people are, not they're just having fun and they're not taking themselves too seriously. And I think that's why I really like those streams because it just makes me realize like people are generally speaking, at least the ones we run into are, you know, are rooting for you mm -hmm. and hope that your stream reconnects, um, which is what's <laughs> which happening we're to some of those earlier. issues today. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, also, I don't know if you guys saw. We have a new piece of wall art here, Dominion, uh, from Board Game Geek's art series that they do. It's Kyle Farron, the artist for Root and Fort and all the letter games. Uh, Dominion, one of the first games that we played that got us into games. And then, of course, Root, which is one of my currently favorite games. So, um, mm -hmm. Andrew loves... So it was a great the, combo of two things that I love. Although we technically don't own Dominion anymore. but We gave it away. But it's because we like deck building within games. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of friends who already own Dominion. So if we ever want to play. Yeah. But it's like a, the, it was like the, the grandmother, the grandfather of us like playing games. So mm -hmm. it felt like a good one to, to get art. And it does the same thing that, that Venice does, which it does the purple well it's not purple it's a dark blue purpley and orange combo which is an un it's a surprising combo yeah it's pretty cool benita says much better art than in the game yeah. yes benita that's so true that's... i feel like dominion and Jane, terraforming Jane... mars both of their card art is like in this there's like yeah be careful about saying something wrong about, bad about terraforming mars oh really benita's in the stream Big fan. I but, I am a big fan of Terraform. Oh Mars. no no, but Benita, I feel like you would agree that that art is janky. Yeah, right? they both hit this level of like janky card art, but um, yeah, it doesn't bother me either. Uh, <laughs> it's like it's almost entertaining in its own way, where it's like it's fun to see which clip art they used or like which like stock photo they used, and it's like kind of inconsistent. But I don't know. There is a. Um, there's a certain balance where it's like when it's bad and it's off putting, but both of those games are like bad, but they're also fun to see what they come up with next as well. So I don't know. Uh, it's kind of charming in a way. So. <laughs> yeah, hey, I, guess, Andrews. I guess um, then it makes me wonder what about because um, there's that boats game that Roads and think, boats. yeah, Thinker Themer were like making fun of how how ugly but charming it is as well. Mm -hmm. I wonder what you what's the balance between yeah. charming and ugly and just ugly. I don't know what's that the... is a great question because sometimes yeah sometimes it's just ugly and there's nothing redeeming about it. But yeah, uh, Benita, you'll maybe be excited about this. I got the terraforming Mars Kickstarter deluxe like plastic um, tile set big box thing. It's coming very soon, and there's a lot of people that are getting it without getting tracking numbers. So every day I'm like, is it going to come? <laughs> and it hasn't come yet, but anyways. <laughs> Charming and ugly is people who like the game but don't want to say that just... it's just ugly. <laughs> <laughs> the more the ugliest game I've played might be that weird space game where we were hiding cards and boxes. Can't remember the name. Uh, Chaosmos. <laughs> yeah i mean that was um that was not a charmingly ugly ugly game how, <laughs> it was, did, it was... how did andrew convince you to play moy <laughs> uh it was during one of our big board game days mm. the game is really interesting um 
it it's like a hide and seek board game there's one item on the board no one knows where it is but if you end the game and you have that item then you win and so you're trying to bluff people and then at some point everyone figures out where it is and then it's like kind of a fight to get it but it's very very different it's very weird uh i may or may not keep it in the long run um but it was definitely interesting to play Mm. i think it's in my like i'll try it one more time to see if it's uh if there's some magic to it that i didn't see the first time Mm. um but who knows yeah that'll come up um, at least, it, or, or at least it's not necessarily brutal, it's more functional. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. If, I mean, if, if they got the artist from Root to do all the art in, in Dominion, I feel like Dominion just needs a, a third edition, like a new edition, they refresh. But there's too many. Well, they just start from square one. They just start well, with the first one, they're like, this is the second edition, and then later they can re-release the second edition of the what next I expansion. Think I- well, it's funny because we don't own Dominion, but it is a big reason why we got into board games. But I think what I like about Dominion was it was the first game that I, I played and other people who were into the hobby also played. And so I actually had like common ground. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, haha, throne room! Like it was like s- suddenly you like have um, like a cohort. And I think I, I think I, I appreciate it for that. Um, but yeah, that art was... Just art still <laughs> scarred by Dominion or with Dominion? <laughs> Are you scarred by the art? Is that what you're saying? Or scarred by the gameplay. Or play. by the game. Too much of it, maybe. Um, I don't understand why super successful games like Dominion don't just make super pretty versions. Yeah. Well, and I think there's and so no, many... I So I check a lot of used game um, things on like Facebook or whatever, and someone was selling the big box version of Dominion, and... I don't know if you guys have seen the art, the cover art for the big box version of Dominion. I remember when I first got into board games, seeing the big box and really wanting it. And then I looked, I and I saw it with fresh eyes when it was this used one was being sold. And this was the big box for the second edition, so somehow updated. The box cover is a picture of the of of like a three D version of the of the box. Of Dominion, what? it's like it's like a box, and the cover art of it is like two boxes. <laughs> it's like I'm like whose idea was to just like take two pictures of Dominion boxes and the expansion, and then just put them on this with like a flat background. I was like, why would you have this giant box and not put like a cool piece of art on it or something? I was just. I was like, this is the second edition art, dude. <laughs> it, uh, there is anyway, a situation, ta- Andrew saying, like, with a fresh pair of eyes, like, looking at something. It kind of reminds me of, like, seeing, um, like, Mary Kay and Ashley and then always thinking, like, they are so pretty. I want my hair to look like that. I want my clothes to look like that. And then seeing them now, like, when they were, like, tweens, right? And I'm like, why did I think that looked so cool? <laughs> Anyways, um... Oh. Yeah, the Daryl Angel is such weird box art. Yeah, it is. It's like, uh, it it blew my mind because I think I've just seen so many um, uh, what's going on? Um, so many uh, amazing box art box art in the last few years. I just kind of had put it out of my mind. I had forgot that the Dominion big box art was like that and then uh when it popped up it was just jarring i was like whoa board games have moved past this a long time ago <laughs> yeah um just sorry says a lot of x magic the gathering friends played dominion to the exclusion of all other games when it came out oh. so i always so i always wanted to play something else yeah we have friends and i think that's the part we played dominion we really liked it andrew bought a lot of dominion or not a lot but you bought like some two or yeah because i think we were just it's it's that early range of being new to the board game hobby and then you just kind of buy you kind of make some interesting choices with buying but it was interesting because we like liked it and then we were like okay we'll move on and we'll like oh this mechanism is in other things like let's look and i think that's kind of more a sign of andrew's personality where he just likes testing and trying out a lot of games and therefore we have a big collection 
But it's interesting because we have the same, like, very similar friends, just are what they, they like dove really deep into that game, or like fr family, friends, family members of friends, and they only play Dominion like during holidays. This is the box art for, Do for the Dominion big box. If you can see it, it's just a picture of two other boxes. <laughs> <laughs> well, they missed the beat. Uh, yeah, they really missed a beat on that one. They could have just made one of the cover arts of those big and put it, you know, anyways. Um, but actually, that makes me think, <laughs> be, I haven't really thought about that just We're not here to, I mean, Dominion's a great game. It got it got us into the hobby. It is, and that's, that's have, the reason we why poster we have a poster right here. <laughs> but it, the extent of how much we will play Dominion in the future I mean, we'll play it if someone really wants to play with us. But this I mean, is I'll, I'll this never, is a relic. I'll not never a relic. turn a game down in Dominion. I I I really enjoy the game, but I, I do. If I'm gonna own a deck building game, I want it to be deck building plus something else usually. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't know if I would play Dominion again because I think what happened is I played with someone who played it way too much, and then I was like, well, this is not fun anymore because <laughs> they've done it way too much so but it's kind of in a similar vein to what Jessar was saying which actually that makes me feel i mean like our friend group they're very willing to try out new games maybe too much because we don't play games repeatedly enough yeah. uh dale andrews asked if there was any other bgg art you were tempted to get there was a lot of really great uh art options um and probably next year maybe i will um think about uh oh sorry did your did your thing die over there um uh i'll think about getting a second one maybe smaller but there's a lot of space to fill in back here uh we want to kind of layer some of these pictures eventually yeah but, i saw a cool picture online of um, like art that was like layered on top uh um, and then ragusa of course is not actually part of that but i just set that <laughs> there uh <laughs> Um, as an easter egg um uh, the moy i never got enough games of dominion in really i also never really suggest playing it yeah it's one it's one that i think um i feel like i'm glad that it was it play it was we played it when we played it mm -hmm. and then and then we moved on to the next yeah i don't games. think we played a lot of board games with you when it was kind of at its height oh, for us oh probably well. yeah yeah Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the oh, I was saying something a minute. I have ago. sold my copy of the big box multiple times. I always get a deal, and then remember why did I buy this? <laughs> Dominion stream when <laughs> we don't own we don't actually own we don't Dominion. own it anymore. Yeah, but um, what was I going to yeah, say? Yeah, and was, bringing oh, the art, the art for the BGG art. Oh, Darryl sorry, Andrew was asking. Yes, I was. Uh, I really liked the feast for odin one but we haven't played feast for odin so it felt wrong to try to get it and then there was it was a big debate out in our house about which art we were gonna yeah. buy. <laughs> um, and then there was the root one which i kind of just wished it had been the artist who did root who did but the, but that's the one the that was thing, the one though. That, yeah the, the one that they did was not bad but it the original art for Root is just so good that it was hard to. You don't want to do a, a like a, a size, remix of yeah, it. Yeah, remix of it. Well, also I think. Um, oh, the base game's free online, Benitez. Yeah, I would be down to stream that. <gasps> we could. I mean, that when we. I mean, we can host um, other you know other people joining our stream. So. Wait, wait, wait. Um, what's happening there are better things oh wait hold on rewind we're all over the place we were just we just got super hyped we got all this energy from the butt wall <laughs> and then, um so just so i said and bringing game or friends to the table is more important dominion stream there are better experiences both light and heavy i can think of yeah that's the part where i feel like um we felt like it was cool to get a piece of art about that's like kind of related to the history of this of the hobby for us but then be but be into other games he <laughs> says i would totally join yes we should Dominion do it games whoa yeah yeah pin angel drop the link oh my goodness that would be so fun because we played um seven summits and then andrew was like so when are we gonna play this again with more people because <laughs> we played... i think she's talking about dominion though we were talking about dominion online oh sorry 
I'm all over Seven the Seven Senates is Legends, um, Papa and Daryl. Mm. Uh, well, Benita but Seven Summits, yeah, Seven Summits is is great too. I want to play with more people. You're right. It was it was good at two. It was fine at two players, but it's push your luck, and you just need the whole table that's like laughing at you when you fall on your face or mad at you when you. Uh, I mean, I did time. all of those things yeah. <laughs> when Andrew messed up. It felt really good. I love push your luck because I think I like that like. Well, it's like push your luck, but then you could like kind of adjust it. Oh yeah, Daryl Andrew made seven summits. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that. Come um, on, Andrew. Um, the I was talking about Dominion because it's online. Yes. <laughs> Andrew has it right pulled here. up right now, and I am re reminded about how weird this art is. We were just talking about it, but and the font. I wonder if we would convince. Okay, here now we're gonna Dominion talk about font. Goes up to. Four players, right? I don't know. Anyways. Yes, Benita, we should do it. Um, <laughs> we got to find a time that works for you and us then. Um, yeah. Man, that's going to be fun. That will be. Oh, also, I feel like we were talking about not making a drinking game, but we had like this thing about the card art. Like... And the artists, I oh, I forgot what it Darryl was. Andrew's font, yes. <laughs> the Dominion yeah. font. I sound give off, it a very low score. Sound off about the font. In the thing is, here's the thing. The What's font. The thing? Tell me, tell us the thing. <laughs> listen, listen. He's going on another font rant. No, I think the thing is the font is cohesive with how janky the rest of the game is. So it's like. I don't know what they're doing with the O's being interlocked and like intertwined with the other letters. I feel unsure about it. <laughs> the boy says I like Ascension better than Dominion to be honest. Yeah, I um, I have a special place for Dominion just because it really was one of the big games that got me into the hobby. Um, but the setup is a beast for Dominion for what the game is. It's it's such a light and short game, but you having to organize all the cards and find them in that little like file folder thing every <laughs> single time, it uh, really kind of puts a damper on whether or not I want to get the game out. Whereas Ascension, you just you just shuffle the deck and yeah. then you're good to go, which I think is my kind of preferred deck building format when you just shuffle a deck and go, but. I like trains a lot. That's probably my uh, my favorite. <laughs> that that one's very similar to Dominion. Also, about as ugly. Um, a little more cohesive in its design, though. <laughs> I, <laughs> um, Electra fended off Craven with her ninja training. Oh man, Legends! I like the updates from your game. I'm enjoying it. Bad font is a real warning flag. It's so true. It's like. Usually, fonts kind of like, if anything, just kind of, um, if done well, just kind of fit and don't cause any waves. <laughs> and then when it's a bad font, you're like, whoa, re-nature, watch out. <laughs> do uh, I want to play this game? Maybe not. The Moy asks, how do you feel about the train's art? <laughs> uh, I think it's fitting and it's got that ugly charm that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> the ugly it, charm. Uh, it's like it's the, the the art isn't actually bad. It's just like a, a, a realistic style, which just mm, isn't very basic. Yeah, it's very basic, um, and uh, it's basic as the name of all the cards are, like basic train and just <laughs> trains and like yeah. Andrew like... <laughs> Andrew cracks up every time he plays trains. He yeah. thinks it's so funny. Um, Panda Angel. Yeah, I would rather play it online than physically for sure. Mm -hmm. Bad kerning is worse for me. Bad kerning. Is that a game? I mean, obviously. Uh, they also were talking about Ascension and that. Um, one of, they were talking about there's a piratey version. There's a ton of versions of Ascension, oh, which is kind of cool. Ascension, man. Yeah. If, if, if this... Have you played that one? Uh-uh. Or I don't think I have. We had it for a while. I got it in a trade, and then I think I ended up giving it to the boy. But, um, oh, I'm trying to we imagine play the box. Sometime. It's good. I like deck builders. Mm -hmm. I like most my. I don't know. But like, like I 
I think I said earlier where I, I prefer deck building when it's deck building plus something else. So trains is basically, it's almost exactly dominion, but it's also plus an area control thing. Mm. And then um, tyrants of the underdark is almost exactly like ascension, but it has an area control component to it. Mm. And I, I just tend to prefer those ones that have just a little bit, one more thing to just increase the interaction. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Ugly yeah. charm. <laughs> Hashtag ugly charm. Yes. <laughs> okay, we should raid. Right, yes, we're going to raid. Thank you, one. everyone, for sticking around as we talked about the, our history with Dominion. And well, we got to, you know, we're going to do a stream with Bonita <laughs> playing Dominion. It's going to be great. Maybe Panda, you can join too. Yes. Um, let's see. That's four players see. right there. We got Cassius Clay. If you guys oh, go, man. You guys, you mind? Okay, we're going to go over to Cassius Clay. Wait, no, no. We need to go to a board game one. I feel like that's way off. Panda oh. Angels in. That's four <laughs> players. We got it. Yeah. We just need to pick a date. Yeah, thanks everyone for joining in. Food Chain Magnate. That's yes. right. Come on. I'm, I'm, I really want to learn. I really want to play. Um, I Feel really like want to have that experience. How long is Food Chain Magnate? Yeah, I'm yes. glad that you dropped in. And Daryl Andrews, Andrews. We, we're, uh, one of these nights when we get four people or three or four people on the stream, we're going to play seven summits. Oh, you know who would be, be fun. you know who would be great? Rudy Red and That's Uncle what Jojo. Thinking. That's what I was thinking. And maybe, and maybe he'll do some live forgiveness moments for us. <laughs> a live forgiveness moment dance. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I bet you. Uh, three to four hours, including teach, though it'll probably be faster. Oh, that. that's okay. nice. That's uh, good to know. So yeah, that helps with scheduling. All right. So are we doing cash display? Okay. Time? Sorry, we're sorry that we're not taking everyone to board games. We usually will, but this. We were just talking about DJ Cassius Clay, so we are going to go so over ready, there. Get ready, get your ears ready <laughs> for some good DJ. We'll see you there. And it is up. Oh, this is going to be good. This is gonna be can we, so good. can you, you got to make sure right. that you pull it up. Bye. There you go. I'm so excited. Happy Thursday. Hey, board game spam, what's up, Raiders? Oh, they're talking to us now.